Hello and welcome. My name is Dylan, and today we're going to be talking about five exotic weapons you can earn right now as a new player for free with absolutely no DLC necessary. In the interest of time, I'll be talking about the weapon, what the weapons do, perks, and telling you what you need to do to get them. But this video will not be walking you through each quest to obtain the weapons or the catalysts. I will link to full guides on that by awesome YouTubers that I personally watch in the description down below. So the five weapons I'll be talking about and the order that they will appear in the video is as follows. Polaris Lance, Sleeper Simulant, Bad Juju, Risk Runner, and Whisper of the Worm. There are quite a few exotics you can earn from quests as a new player, but these are the five best, with the last two being extremely useful as a new player. I will link to a full list of exotics available without purchasing any DLC in the description down below. Let's get started with Polaris Lance. This is a scout rifle with a slower rate of fire, which is perfect because it heavily rewards headshots with this exotic perk. This perk will refill some ammo on precision hits. It also loads a solar explosive round after 4 precision hits that does massive damage to a group of adds. The precision hits do not have to be consecutive, consecutive which means it is okay if you're missing a few shots, and it also they don't have to get kills. So when spamming large targets, you can proc it over and over and over again, adding extra damage. Getting and completing the catalyst for this weapon will give it the Dragonfly perk, which uh, will explode enemies killed by precision hits. This weapon can be obtained by completing a world quest on Mars and lives in the energy or second weapon slot. The next weapon can also be obtained on Mars through a world quest. That weapon is the Linear Fusion Rifle Sleeper Simulant. I will openly say that this quest can take a decent amount of time to unlock due to the quest step requiring you to find and unlock sleeper nodes. I have two videos on my channel that will help greatly with this and I will link them in the description below. This weapon packs a punch and can be used at long distances like a sniper. It also over penetrates targets so it can be used against large group of groups of enemies if needed. Or you can simply use it to farm powerful enemy kills at the start of the Leviathan raid to quickly progress black armory weapon frames and things of that nature. This weapon is held in the power or third weapon slot. The catalyst for this weapon reduces the charge time and gives you two extra uh, shots in reserves. This brings us to the bad juju. This weapon can be obtained from Emperor Kallus after you complete the quest to unlock the menagerie. It is a pulse rifle that is found in the kinetic or first weapon slot. It has a fast rate of fire and a pretty long range, but its spot in this list comes down to the fact that the exotic perk is very powerful. Kills will refill the magazine, increase damage, and grant super energy. This increases the more kills you get up to 3 stacks. This weapon can also be fired on full auto, simply meaning you can hold down the trigger. The catalyst for this weapon just increases the length of the effects before you need to get another kill to reproc the perk. This weapon is really really fun in mid-level activities to use for ad clear and stuff like that because you can just have the uh, string of curses proc the entire time. Next is the easiest weapon to obtain on this list, but in many situations it's the most powerful outside of boss damage. This weapon is Risk Runner. It is an SMG that takes up the energy or second weapon slot. This weapon is obtained by completing an exotic quest you get from Banshee and the tower. That is, it's fairly quick and easy to complete. The exotic perk and bonus perk uh, for this weapon give the following effect. When arc damage is taken, it activates arc conductor. This makes the weapon more powerful and resists incoming arc damage. Getting kills increases the duration of this effect. The bonus perk takes this further and auto fills your magazine from reserves so you'll literally have infinite ammo while you have arc conductor proc. And every shot fired has a chance to become chained lightning, which can kill lots and lots of enemies all at once. But it is rare that it procs, but when it does, it's very powerful. These perks make this weapon the top choice for activities where you know that you'll be receiving arc damage, as it turns this weapon into an absolute monster. Uh, it also procs in PvP uh, against any arc weapons or abilities. 
last but certainly not least we have the top weapon on the list whisper of the worm this is one of the top dps weapons in the current meta this is a sniper that takes up the power or third weapon slot rapidly landing three precision hits refills the magazine the Catalyst unlocks the ability to proc Whispered Breathing, which increases range and precision damage. Now the way that it does this is that you will aim down sight. While you are aiming down sight, for a few seconds before firing, it will proc Whispered Breathing. When you use Whispered Breathing, you will continue to hit critical hits, and because it reloads your magazine for you, you do not have to unproc Whispered Breathing, so you don't have to uh, stop ADS reload and then ADS again. This weapon comes from a secret mission on Io. The base power of this weapon along with the auto reload of the exotic perk and the bonus damage of whispered breathing makes it a fantastic weapon for high level activities. It is also the best high level DPS weapon you can get without buying any DLC. This video's purpose was to introduce new players to some grinds that they can work on to improve their weapon arsenal without spending any money. I put out a video before this uh, that explains the importance of the Black Armory to new players and how you can get good starting weapons, legendaries, from there to continue your grind for other things. So go check out that video if that's a topic that interests you. But as always guys, I hope this video helped. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And have a great day, everybody.